All right, dudes, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I am on the river, got the swing rod, got the nymph rod. This river blew out to almost 500 cumics the other day. It's back down at like 40, uh, which is still, it's got a bit more water than I would actually like in here, but it'll do for now. Uh, for it was back down around 30, but it could be perfect conditions for swinging a fly, which is what I'm about to go do. So uh, stick with me, stay tuned, and let's see if we can get the fish on the bank. I did forget a net as well, so that could make things challenging. There it is. Oh, come on, I did. Well, that's pretty annoying. That was 100% a fish. All right, so after the last video I posted, I lost a couple of fish in, and quite a few people, um, you know, commented, gave me some tips on how to increase my hook rate. And the biggest thing that I found this time around, because I've had different advice previously, was do nothing. I normally have a loop set there, and I'll let the fish take the loop. Um, but everybody in the last comment was pretty much telling me to do nothing. So have it pretty much locked up. I've got significant drag, and that's what I tried to do on that last fish I just touched. I just it bounced on the rod with it straight a few times, and as soon as I started lifting it towards the bank, it let go. So at the moment, that's what I've, I've got there now. It's tight, but I'm going to keep it tighter with my fingers. So I'm not going to let the fish have any drag. It should bury the hook. It should. I mean, these hooks are sharp. It should just eat them. You would think it would just eat them. Come on, one fish. Here, one fish. I want one fish. Here, one, one fish. Everybody wants one fish. Here, one fish. It's the best cast I've had for a while. Here we go. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do? Oh, Jesus. Did I do it too quickly? I mean, it's sitting there. Oh, man. I don't understand how fish bites a big thing with a hook, big sharp hook in the back of it, how it doesn't get hooked. How? You tell me how. I'm going to rip this thing's face off if another one eats it, if I remember. It's really hard to remember, it all happens so quick. Oh, come on fish. I should start hitting the bottom soon. Anywhere in there. Fish. Please stay on. I was just about to pick that up. Beautiful fish. I did forget my net, but I've got a nice little bay here. Nice little live well for him. Fish, relax. Cool. Nice little silver hen. Happy with that. See you later, fishing. Stoked. Well, I, I hooked like one, two, three, and then finally landed one. So far less than 50% at the moment. I'm like, uh, what's that, 25%? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is that a fish? Oh, that was a fish. So I'm pretty sure I just went too soft on that. I should have swung on it. 100% of fish though. Damn. I should have just leant into that bloody thing. 
I just gingerly picked up on it. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe do. Wait longer or lean on it harder? All right, so I've been down once with the swing rod, four fish, touch four fish, landed one. Put the nymph through, not super well. I get pretty impatient, <laughs> so I haven't done that well at all. It took me 20 minutes to work up that whole run, which is terrible. Should take like that one. Uh, but now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one more time before I leave, because I've got another good river that I'm sure I'm gonna catch loads of fish in. Um, but I, I just really like catching up on the swing, so back down with the swing rod. soon as I lift the rod, like I leant back in, I pulled that straight line. Is he still there? Ah, route. Like I had that on, like that was tight. And as soon as I lifted the rod, fish off. What the frick? What am I doing wrong? It happens too often for it. To not be a coincidence it's definitely something I'm doing or I should be doing something different haven't moved my feet just swinging it back through there Take a step. Take a step back. That was tight, like that was approaching breaking strain. Off the line. Well, it probably wasn't, but it was, there's no way the hook wasn't in with that amount of pressure. There he is again. Here he is again. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, yeah. So many bumps. Oh, come on, just eat the frickin' thing. Eat it. Oh my God, he played with it so much. And he ate that finally right up on the bank, followed it right in, nip it. I mean, I'd love to see what's going on. Is that three different fish nipping at it? Or is it the same fish having a go each time? It seems... Oh, that was cool, man. It's coming up at a hell of a rate of knots. Real super pretty fish. Sweet. Oh, that's a much better fish too. Just relax, buddy. Just relax. Relax. Sweet. I wish they would just get hooked like that every time, but they, for some reason, don't. Cool. That is a really super healthy, so bright, barely any color on it. Super happy to catch that guy. All right. See you later, fish. Thank you so much. Ooh. Sweet. That was really cool. I worked really hard for that fish. I was taking two steps forward, two steps back, two steps forward, two steps back. I knew there was fish in there because I got bumped so many times. 
Uh, so I'm really happy that I finally got that one to eat. He played with it so much and fought, like when he actually ate it, he was nearly on the bank. This whole river is crazy full of water still. Um, but I was here yesterday and it was too full. I just stopped by and had a look. I didn't really fish. It was chocolate and really, really full. It has come down quite a bit. So if there's fish there, they'll be able to see the fly, which is good. And there should be fish there. That's fish. Nice fish too. Very nice fish. Oh, lost him. That's a fish, that's a good fish. Oh, he's swimming right at me. He's swimming right at me. He ate the egg. She ate the egg. Sweet. Psychopath. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, relax. Really fit, really strong. Actually, not huge, but really cool fight. Really happy to catch him. All right, see you, buddy. Hunk. Oh, yeah, that's weird. All right, so I uh, hooked those two fish, hooked the fish, lost it, then hooked and landed a fish, all within about five minutes. And then I spent probably another 30, 40 minutes there and nothing else happened. So there must have been the only two fish in there. That's the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, going 50 meters downstream, put a few through here. There's a guy where I want to go. So I won't go there. I'll put a few through right here and uh, see if we can get one more before it really starts raining. Oh my god, I caught a fish somehow. This is ridiculous. There's no way I deserve this fish. It took me 20 seconds to get tight to it. Would not surprise me if this thing came off because I really, really messed that up. Just get him up in this little. Wow, look how fat this fish is. RNG grunt and snout. Real pretty fish. That's probably one of the better ones today. Super happy with this guy. See you later, girlfriend. God, every time I went my camera. Sweet, this is a nice fish too. Way stronger. Oh, there's a shag right there. I've never seen it happen, but apparently Shags have eaten them off ang ang anglers' lines, and I don't doubt it. Fish this one. Oh. oh. He's right there. He's, that fish is thinking about it. I mean, that shag is thinking about it. Look at him right there. He's, he's like, I want that bloody fish.
Oh. Look at this guy, this is a great fish. That's the best honeymoon fish I've caught. Potentially this season is really fat. Um, probably deserves to be at least four pounds. Super happy with him. See you, girlfriend. Thank you. This is definitely one of the better fish I've caught from the Honeymore in a while. That might be, it's easy five. Hmm, it's hard to know. Solid, very solid. Full of muscle, hard fight. Super pumped to catch this guy. Sick. All right, say goodbye to this guy. See you, buddy. Oh, super wet. Every time. Pumped, that is awesome. That is uh, a really good fish. I should probably stop now and end it on that fish, but I probably won't. He's gonna go straight down. That's gonna get a fish. Told you. Holy crap. Oh, he's down in the stick. He's under it. I can see the. Oh, he came back under. <laughs> that was super lucky. So good. Alright, it's gonna be hard to walk away from the uh, fishing when it's this good. There's a nice little pocket of fish in there. So this camera's about to go flat. Oh, I've got my other one in my bag. We might be right. Alright, so I'm gonna try and give you a quick tip here. Let's see how this goes. The reason I was I said, oh that's gonna, those are gonna go straight down, that's definitely gonna get a fish. I said something like that. The reason I said that and why I thought that is the way the flies landed. So if you imagine where my thumb is is the indicator, and here's here's your flies. If the, indicate, if the leader and everything lands straight, once these flies start sinking, these has to, the flies have to do this, this pendulum to underneath the indicator, and that takes time. And also your flies can get caught in current over here, and it's just not a, a real nice drift. But if you can get the flies to kind of land in a pile beside the indicator, they just do that and go straight down. And that's exactly what happened there. And it's something that I do aim for, especially when I'm roll casting and stuff like that, or under power a normal cast. 
is um, trying to get the flies to not land on a straight leader. They have the pendulum sink underneath it. If you can get them to land just in a pile, they go straight down. If you know there's fish here, that's quite often the drift you'll get it on because it's just, it's just such a dead drift once they're down there. Or even as they're sinking, it's just, they're not connected to anything. It's like they're not connected to anything. So yeah, that's why I said that, and uh, sure enough. Hopefully that made sense. All right, so there's a bit of rain just starting to fall again. Um, so I didn't put a huge amount of effort into filming it. It's kind of just me going fishing. Uh, I kind of needed just to get out and catch some fish because I haven't been doing it that much recently. Um, but super fun. I think I must have ended up with seven or eight fish. Finished it off with that nice jack right there. A couple of really nice fish from that spot where I was just hooking heaps. All in all, a good day. I'm happy. Happy and satisfied. I hope you are too. So if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Leave me a comment. I'm sure you got some tips for me about hooking fish on the swing. I know I certainly need some help. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thanks. Peace. Bye.